Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center and today I wanted to talk about genotypes, a little bit about color genetics. And I know not everybody really cares about this. This is kind of an advanced video. So if you're interested in color or maybe why you're getting um, a Goody Rabbits or, or the colors that you're getting, uh, st stick with us because we're going to talk about a little bit about genotypes. Over the years we bred blue rabbits with red rabbits and we got a Goody Rabbits. I had a, a previous customer, Jason, ask me about uh, how he's getting or how a Goody was in the pedigree and he purchased um, I believe it was a white rabbit that had maybe it was a sable point but I explained to him that it had a Goody genes uh, it came from a red rabbit and all red rabbits have the agouti gene, the, the dominant A locus, but they also have wide band. That's what stretches that color to create that orange, or I'm sorry, red rather. You know, colors are a little deceiving sometimes when it comes to your rabbits, especially if you're getting into say Rex rabbits. I mean, there's so many different colors and one color may be called uh, something else even though it looks the same it just depends on the breed sometimes and you know for an example this rabbit right here is a red rabbit but it doesn't have that rich red or orange look you know sometimes your red rabbits almost look orange and but they're called red this rabbit doesn't necessarily have that only because it came from this rabbit actually was produced from a blue litter but it came out this palomino almost golden fawn type of genotype your results can really vary based on the rabbits that you're breeding, their genotype, and once you test breed your rabbits, it really kind of starts to put it into focus what those genes are. So if you're interested in that, stick with us. We're gonna go down and get on the whiteboard, to actually show how a goody is possible with breeding red rabbits and blue rabbits. So stick with us. We're gonna talk all about it. Here we go. Okay, so here is a goody genotype. Not Ugati. <laughs> A locus dominant, B locus dominant, let me see if I can... C locus dominant, D locus dominant, E locus. So this is um, self or tan or Ugati. Um, this is uh, base, this is color placement, this is dense, are dilute and this is uh, extension. Now all these things do different things. They, they trigger different mutations. And that's just the, the gist, okay? That's not everything. But basically, uh, a capital lever, letter will be dominant and a lowercase letter will be recessive. And the only time recessives will ever show is when they match up with another recessive. Now it's not all the time. You know, this is something that is uh, random. It's a, it's a crapshoot. It's just like rolling the dice. Unless you have dominant genes, too many dominant genes where either they're stacking up where you're getting double uh, dominant, that's called homozygosity, or if a rabbit has matching genes um, where a recessive matches up with another recessive, that will cancel out the dominant and that's how you get blue rabbits or, or that sort of thing. So, okay, so let's write down blue rabbits is gonna have the self and the A locus and it's also gonna have the dilute. Um, now, in the, the A locus is gonna be either a goody, tan, or self, which basically means like a solid. So, and then the dilute is always gonna be either dense, which is normal, or dilute in meaning like black to blue or brown to lilac. That's a genotype for a blue rabbit, okay? In most cases, you're finding out the black base or blue base first, and you're then going to find out your dense or dilute second. So when it comes to blue, uh, you're going to be talking about black, blue, tortoise, opal. Um, it goes, the list goes on. I don't, I don't have them all memorized, but these are colors that you're always going to have that capital B. In a lowercase b, um, those would be all cho chocolate or lilac based colors. So, and then moving over to to lowercase d's, these are going to, you can tell uh, a capital D dominant or a lowercase d, uh, in many cases just by the eye. Capital D, in most cases, are gonna have a, a brown eye. Um, you know, and they're going to have 
um, like a lowercase d, this is going to have a blue or a gray eye. You know, that's just one way to, to figure out what that gene is. You know, there, there's so much more information, but I don't want to confuse you with kind of like uh, paralysis by analysis. So let's just keep it simple. And of course, you can always, um, I'll put a book down in the description below uh, that really sheds some light on all the facets, all facets of color genetics, even um, for genetics and dwarfing genetics. So, but let's just, now we'll do the red rabbits, the red rabbit genotype. And this is what I mean by red rabbits have the agouti gene. They're all agouti rabbits because in the A locus, you either have self, which is solid, uh, tans, or agouti. That's the three that's in the A locus. So what's special about red rabbits is they have um, capital letters through the A, B, C, and D locus, but then they have the most recessive gene in the E locus, which is lowercase e, lowercase e, and then they have wide band. Now, it, it, uh, a full extension is the capital E, but non-extension is basically kind of like wide band, where wide band is stretching the color, the colorful, the bright color wide in the color shaft. And non-extension is not showing any of the dark pigment uh, in, in the E locus. So they kind of work the same, but they're not the same. So red, golden fawn, orange, you know, these are all pretty much the same uh, genetics. Um, sometimes like a goody uh, or orange is called um, caster with Rex rabbits. So this is when things get confusing. It just depends on breeds, uh, what the color is going to be called. So, but there's just so much to it and, but it's pretty interesting. I think the, the first thing you should learn is just basically what these locuses are what gen what genes are in the locuses just that's like a great starting point and you can use flashcards but so getting back to why we originally even did this video and we're going to wrap it up with this right here instead of writing out all the possibilities with punnett square we'll just basically cut right to the chase of why you get a goody rabbits with with red rabbits and if you ever were to get your chestnut agouti and try to breed it back to a red rabbit the problem is that it's not going to have that full red all the way to the to the bottom, all the way to the belly, all the way to the bottom of the feet, because agouti rabbits have white bellies. That's a characteristic. So it's important uh, to to breed red rabbits with red rabbits when you have that you know recessive extension, non-extension. When you have that wide band, you want to keep your red rabbits full and red. So. Because what happens is when the agouti chestnut is breeds with the red rabbit, you know, now you can't get rid of that, that uh, white belly. So, but without, you know, lots and lots of breeding and, and breeding back favorable characteristics, and it's just gonna, you know, it's a headache. And now remember, you get one gene from the, the mama and one gene from the, the, the dad. So, and again, if you wanna, want more information, uh, I'll put a video up in the corner for you to, to see more about color genetics. And then um, we also have that Punnett square uh, where you can see me mispronounce uh, agouti. Okay, so, so basically, A locus and self will end up, you'll get, a, you'll get that, okay? So we're gonna take these genes over here on the left and we're gonna move them over and we're gonna meet them up with the genes from the blue rabbit up here. So remember, a goody is capital A, capital B, is that focused? Capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D, capital E. And this is how we get our agouti rabbits because the genes end up matching that. So B to B would be homozygosity, which basically doubles up, stacks the alleles, so you're always gonna get uh, that, that capital B. C will move over, you're gonna do it again. Homozygosity again. D to lowercase d, remember, unless it matches up with the recessive, that dominant will always show. So we're back at capital D. And then we take our, our non-extension and we drop that E down. We have a capital E. And then we'll take this down and we'll have our wide band. Now, but you won't get to see that. You know, so sometimes you'll get a darker, uh, like a dark agouti. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Let me know if uh, you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.